From the news station, Fox 4 News at 10. It's been decades since residents of Southeast Fort Worth saw any kind of new brand name stores coming to their area. Yeah, driving miles to shop for groceries and other necessities is the only other option right now. But Fox 4's Phil Alvarado reports that's changing. Leonard Smith and his family have moved into their first new home. A new housing development is rare in southeast Fort Worth. New retail development hasn't been seen for 40 years. Everybody does not want a liquor store. Everybody doesn't want a pawn shop or a payday loan service. We want sustainable development. By Christmas of 2012, it could be a new day in southeast Fort Worth. With up to 500,000 square feet of retail on part of what was the Masonic Home and School. You basically have to go several miles to get to a, any kind of store that's, you know, with any deals or any sales or anything. A hundred thousand dollar house next to a liquor store just doesn't work. Yeah, and I made the commitment to come home. Andre McEwing grew up in Southeast Fort Worth. His organization, Southeast Fort Worth Inc., is dedicated to the area's revitalization. Renaissance Square is a $75 million development that will include a new subdivision of family homes. Neighborhood shops just don't exist here right now. Way off, you know, since they took the second save up here, you have to go way down on Berry or way over on Beach, and it's just not fair. Fort Worth wants the development bad enough that it's willing to pay for the infrastructure and to provide tax abatements to get the project here. Developers believe they can do well, and residents have been waiting a long time for prosperity to come home. Phil Alvarado, Fox 4 News.